not a lot of draw, so it's actually very, very little. We'll edit that part out. Draws, but I mean, if I can get all of it, then I won't have any in our casting. We'll just have sand inclusions to deal with. Okay, so once again, it's too hot. You see, the metal has got a slight red glow to it. It's okay. It will cool off. So what I'm going to do? I'll go ahead and lift this off. Set it over to the side. We're going to. Um, we're actually going to use the pig mold when we're done, pour the excess in. We'll position it right there, so I'll go from pouring from there to there. Just in case we have too much, do you have a second pig mold? I don't know. I don't think, no, we're not going to run out of that and that. It's, there's not, not any way that's going to happen. So I'm lift this off. Oh yeah, that's a little warm. It's a little bit too hot. Yeah, it's glowing red, so... I actually don't think it'll hurt the green sand at all. Um, Petrobond, it would it would definitely um, you know, burn the oil out of it. It burns more of it out because there's more heat and it travels further through the sand. See, this is forming a little layer of oxide on the top while it's just sitting there. Quite a bit of radiant heat, too. I don't know if you yeah. can feel that. Oh, I can. So, let's see. Um, the pouring right. spout is there. I'm going to lift this up. I would like to pour it from the left to the right, but okay. I guess I can do left. So, here, you take the tongs. That means that I need to stand here with the uh, just hold it there so it doesn't it doesn't uh, tip or anything. Uh, uh, bring it bring it back around this way. I want I want the, the spout to be coming on here. So okay, so you're gonna rotate. That I'm gonna rotate about. it. Yes, exactly. Okay, here goes. Oh, that's a heavy one. So now, for the moment of truth, you were asking about the fiber board, huh? Ooh, look at that smoke. Okay, boy, we just just made it. Okay, um, go ahead and grab this again. Yeah, I'm gonna do the exact opposite of what we just did. Get this back on there. How do you feel, cameraman? Do you feel like you got it? He doesn't want to talk. I hope the camera actually picked up the actual glowing of the aluminum. 
I've seen you get aluminum glowing uh, cherry red. This is the first time I've seen you get aluminum to orange. Yeah, I mean you can get it as hot as you want. You see this is this is contracted down, it's shrunk down. Um, as the metal solidifies, it pulls metal out of those risers, which is good. That's what they're there for, is to feed it. So hopefully, um, it's solidifying in there as we speak. It's freezing. And, How long uh, do we let it go? That's a good question. What do you think? you think it's hot? Oh, it's a little warm. I don't think we're under any risk of anything still being molten at this point. If it is, it's on the inside. I would be very surprised if anything was still some molten. Of this, give some of this a little chance to cool. Yeah. The sand's a decent insulator, so... Yeah, and uh, it says we've kind of dug up a layer here. And you can see it uh, steaming off. Shovel away, it's still hot enough to melt the shovel. There it is. Actually, didn't come out too bad, huh? Yeah, pretty good. Nowhere near the uh, um, I think that's all of the sand. Okay, I would say. That kind of looks like the original. Where is the original? Uh, it's on the bench here, and I'm about to bring it over. It smells like burnt shovel. <laughs> it does. Oh man, that came out much neater than I expected. Well, it's not perfect, but considering we didn't have a split pattern, Cool.